Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about questionable concepts in physics and today I am talking about dark energy. Why is dark energy questionable? First of all, there is a really good experiment, really observations that you can admire. Uh, the technology is fantastic. Uh, in the 1990s they uh, were able to take pictures of supernova explosion, explosions, very distant star explosions and they made an important discovery that the longer the explosion um, uh, lasts the uh, higher is the brightness and this is an f of enormous importance because you're able to gauge the distance which is one of the big problems of astronomy at all so no doubt that they merit the Nobel Prize for that uh, discovery of uh, finding a new method of uh, distance measurements in the in the early universe but then the conclusion was immediately pushed oh we discovered that the expansion of the universe is accelerated and there is dark energy that causes this and this is an old idea of Einstein no 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 wait a little bit Einstein was kind of misused here as a crown witness because he tried something very different to fix another problem and so um, this is the kind of publicity uh, some, uh, sometimes is done in modern physics. But let's uh, take a closer look at the acceleration. Why acceleration? And uh, from the beginning of cosmology, the big riddle was why is there an expansion of, um, of, of the universe at all uh, after Hubble's discoveries in the late 1920s? And the big question was always, um, is this uh, expansion decelerated by gravity or uh, and how much uh, to a point that uh, it will eventually stop and, and the universe will recollapse or will it expand forever? Uh, okay, this was for a long time the big question. Uh, they called it, is the universe open or is it close? And then uh, so, so the surprise was um, it's just in between okay uh, uh, at this strange border of never stopping the expansion and this was again a very strange coincidence yeah you need to reflect so we have a, a second riddle here and then uh, the uh, new discovery of uh, the accelerated expansion no 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 um, uh, this uh, deceleration of the universe is absent at all okay now um, take a look at this you have a very strange coincidence you predict theoretically that your observed expansion should slow down but at the same time you don't see this okay there's just no evidence for the deceleration and then you postulate an acceleration of the same amount that should compensate this theoretically deceleration there is something wrong here okay and we cannot just fix it by inventing new um, quantities uh, I mean Newton in 1687 said there is a inherent property of masses to attract each other and modern physicists no 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 in the context of cosmology there's a little bit different i mean if you are dealing with the law of gravity think a little bit okay and i i mean what we have to uh, reconsider is why we have a um, a hubble expansion at all is this the correct interpretation okay and because it's just too strange that this theoretical deceleration postulated by gravity and the acceleration postulated by dark energy just coincide there is no reason for this and then uh, if you if you um, build such hypothesis you need to to uh, 
just uh, postulate arbitrary numbers. So the universe is 70% dark energy and 25% dark matter. Nobody knows why. Okay. I would argue that um, uh, we take uh, another approach and uh, I'm not talking about alternatives today with variable speed of light, but uh, there is something wrong, deeply wrong with our understanding of cosmology in the standard model. That's what the evidence shows us. Okay. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental questions, then subscribe to this channel.